I just talk, talk to me about the dynamic of, uh, of a last lap like that. I mean, there's so much talent and so much yeah. speed. Yeah, I mean, I knew it would be a good match of abilities. Um, uh, Molly's super strong, and Shelby's got a good kick, and I knew I'd got a good mix of both. So my number one objective today was to make the team, and, uh, um, you know, that mission is accomplished. I'm really pleased. <laughs> Just your, your, your level of appreciation, because obviously, so many options, so many, so many possibilities. What you one, uh, one the other, uh, uh, both. I mean, just to really invest yourself in this and to get this reward. I mean, how meaningful is it? It's great. Yeah, I mean, it's um, every time I toe the line um, in any race, and especially at the U.S. Championships, um, I prepare myself as best as possible. But I know that the other women are doing the same, and there's always a lot of nerves going in, and. Uh, each year is a new opportunity to have to prove myself, so I'm very pleased uh, to come away with a qualifying spot and seven more weeks to gear up and get ready for Worlds. Did you feel the 15 minutes or did you like so today? Oh yeah, I felt, I mean, I felt it a little bit. I think I knew I was up against women who'd done the 10, so I wasn't I wasn't going to be feeling bad for myself by any means. Um, uh, you know, I, I pushed with coach to be able to do the double. Um, I know it'll be hard. I know tomorrow's going to be rough, but... Um, you know, I really want to get out there and push myself. Um, I took it one day at a time. Today, the objective was to make the team in the 5K, and you know, tomorrow it's a strong field of women. So um, I'm just going to have to bring my A game and and uh, hope I can cross the finish line with another qualification. First, I'm going to try to make both teams, and then I'll uh, sit down with coach and worry about that problem. But you know, I'm pleased to come away with the 5K qualification, and um, and then. Uh, you know, now objective is tomorrow. Less than 20 more hours to go, so, <laughs> yeah. I mean, globally, the loss for you is the U.S. women. The 5K is like the one event where they really haven't been able to crack up the crack for the top Africans. Yeah. Do you think you can do that this year? Um, I mean, I was really pleased with my 1438 at Brussels last year. Um, training has been going well. I would love to toe the line against those other women and, and see if I can come away with a, an American record with a, 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 a medal for the U.S. Um, got seven more weeks now to prepare myself for that, and I know that my competitors will be doing everything in their power to make it tough for me. So, um, But, you know, I don't do this because I want an easy path in life. I, I, I chose this career because I love a challenge, so that's what I'm getting. <laughs> so with the close tonight, would you change anything? Do you have any regrets about what you did? Um, you know, I think if I had been in Shelby's position rather than where I was. I was closing well as was she. It was just, you know, when we came off that final turn, the two steps she had on me there, she kept until the finish line. Um, but, uh, but you know, the trade-off was that I ran on the inside of lane one for most of the race, conserved energy, and, you know, I felt good and strong closing. So, um, I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but um, the main objective was to make the team, and that's what I did, so I'm pleased. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.